Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how can you provision resource group in Azure using Python. So for performing this entire activity, we will be using Azure SDK management libraries and you need to make sure that you have an active Azure subscription with you. So let's say if you do not want to go programmatically, then the direct way to perform this is so I'm on my Azure portal and here you can search for resource groups. So click on this and you can go ahead and click on create. So as soon as you will click on create, you will get some options wherein you need to select your subscription. You need to provide the name of your resource group and you need the you need to select the region where you want your resource group to reside so once all these things are provided you can just click on review plus create and your resource group is created now what if you want to do all these steps using python so that's what we are going to discuss today so let's get started by pulling in the required dependencies so we need these two dependencies which i have already placed inside my requirement.cs so what we need to do is we need to just go and install this. So pip install minus r requirement.txt. I just executed this command and all the dependencies are part of this virtual environment. So I am using virtual environment, but you can do it without creating any virtual environment also. Okay, so let's get started by importing the dependencies. So the very first one is let me quickly type it first from Azure management resource. We need to import resource management client. So this is the one thing. Another thing we need is identity. So Azure dot identity. And from here we will be importing Azure CLI credential. So once these two things are done, we are good to go ahead and create the required objects. So let's go ahead and utilize the first one, which is uh, using the credential or creating the credential object. So I'm going to create a variable credential. Which will be constructed using Azure CLI credential. Then we need to create our client object. So let's name it client and it would be using the resource management client class. So go here and say credential comma and here we need to place the subscription ID. So I have already grabbed it. So I will quickly go ahead and just tap it over here. Subscription ID. I'm already holding this in a variable above. Okay, so once this is done, the next thing we need to do is to provision the resource group because for provisioning, we need two things, credential as well as the client object, which is already uh, available with us. Now I will go ahead and say resource group. So you can say resource group and the object which we have created, which is the client object client dot here you can say resource groups so click on that and then you need to just call in create or update so this is the method which you can use it to create as well as update so if you are creating the resource group for the very first time you can call this method and if you want to update the existing resource group, which is already in place, you can also use the same method for this purpose also. Okay, now you need to provide here the name of your resource group. So let me give some name, dummy resource. And then we need to provide the, which location. So it is in the form of, you can see here, it is asking for KWARGS, KWARGS which means we need to supply information in the form of a dictionary. So for dictionary, we need a key value pair and here key would be location. And then I would say value is West US. You can define any region you want. And once this is done, uh, we are done with our resource group creation. Next thing is I will simply go ahead and print out print this out so that we will know when the resource group is created so provision the resource group and 
here we can supply the name which is resource group dot name okay so let's go ahead and quickly run it it will just take few seconds and our resource group would be ready okay so provision the resource group so i made a typo let me correct it here and rerun it So you can see that I use the same lines of code to update as well as create the resource group. So you can see that dummy RES group is created. Let's go and quickly verify it. So I will go to resource groups. It may take few seconds to appear over here. So let's give it few seconds. And here you go. So dummy RES is created and the region is West US. So this is how easy it is to create a resource group using Python with just three lines of code. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.